Hello everyone. So today I wanted to show you something uh, that you might find useful. I think you will find it useful. Now, I work with clients where they want to, of course, uh, use Jira effectively. And uh, Jira, of course, is just one tool in uh, their tool set. Usually in organizations, people use multiple tools. And that is fine. You can't really replace this everything with just one tool or you can't really consolidate you can't really sync everything all the time which is fine but as long as you have a way to organize things i think uh, that is more important and 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 even more important you need someone to manage all these things so you can't really use jira without a project manager right now the thing that i want to talk about is uh, let us say you have one issue and that issue is somehow related to another issue outside jira now of course in jira we do have this uh, possibility of using uh, issue links. Now issue links is of a uh, couple of types. You can of course link it to an issue within Jira. You can also link it to, by the way, you can also link it to not just issue within your Jira instance, but to any other connected Jira instance, number one. But apart from having issue links, we're not really going to talk about issue links in this video. We're going to talk about uh, not even uh, linked Confluence pages. We're going, to talk, we're going to talk about just a web link. But these web links are called as uh, remote links in Jira. Now, when you are adding a link somewhere in your Jira instance, let us say I want to add a comment, right? And this comment is talking about, okay, I want you to subscribe to my YouTube channel, right? And uh, I will talk about uh, my channel's name, uh, uh, sparkses.com, and also maybe subscribe to youtube.com slash RAVS. So these are the, these are the two channels, and I can of course add a comment here, right? But these comments are not really usable. Uh, I mean, comments are usable, but the links are not really easy to retrieve uh, effectively. I think you should have it as part of your process, or maybe someone like a PM should manage it. That if there is a tool which you are using, and if there is a reference to another tool, just link that reference here. But use issue links and. Good thing is that you can also retrieve these issue links using REST API. This, that can be super awesome because then you can do some automation. Then you can, I mean, there are endless possibilities when it comes to REST API. So what I will do, I will basically create this uh, link here and I will say, okay, HTTPS and I will say here, Sparksys YouTube channel, right? And uh, this is something that I can link here. I can do the same thing for uh, my other link, my other channel, Ravi Saga YouTube channel number one, you, number, two, number one Jira uh, videos, right? Because why not? That is the thing these days, you need to shout about it. Anyways, so we have basically three links. And uh, uh, what what we can do is we can always you know, go to our uh, REST API, and we can retrieve this link. So right now, the URL or the endpoint is uh, REST slash API slash three slash issue slash issue key, and then use remote link. And if I hit it again, I can retrieve these three links. Number one, of course, the link to my uh, website, Sparksys, and of course the title. There is also this uh, favicon, which is of course picked up from my website. Then again, we have uh, one more uh, URL, YouTube channel, and uh, favicon from from YouTube, and of course a third link. So this is something really, really, really useful if you have like some organized way to to basically manage your remote links because you can use these. Uh, links not only on the issue itself but programmatically you can do something about it and that is all that is all i wanted to talk about in this video that is it i hope you found this video useful and you also learned something new today thank you very much bye bye